All right, let's move in uh, to the um, living room here. Now, the living room starts with this uh, little shelf unit here type thing. Another shelf unit. And uh, cabinet thing up top. There used to be a fire uh, smoke detector there. And uh, there's a window going out to the sunroom for some reason. So here's the inside of that uh, window outside, the uh, air conditioning uh, hole outside. They got a piece of plywood with two screws, one thin sheet, and tape, uh, duct tape down there to keep the uh, air conditioning in, I guess, when they had air conditioners here. Um, so I was thinking that's the one I was thinking about framing over. Uh, you got these jealousy windows here all the way around. The screens are off right now. Um, which I'll put back on, but for now we just wanted the smoke. We wanted the uh, fogger to get down into these uh, gaps here because when we took the screen frames off, you see the frames pretty wide. When we took them off, this is where all the bugs were. They were all down inside between the um, between the aluminum frame and the wood. So and we left them off while the thing was fogging in here, uh, trying to get the uh, try to kill the bugs. These things here, are these old lamps here, I'm gonna to have to take them off. They're uh, they're all gritty with uh, grease, nasty grease. So I think I'll just take them off of there. Might want to come up with something else to put in there. Bonnie thought that these, um, whatever these are, these header things over all the windows should come off. But um, I told her to leave them on. Let you guys make that decision because if you take them off, then um, you're gonna see all the wood with all the holes in it behind there so I probably would leave them on there I don't know um, they kind of match and there's a shelf up on top so you can put stuff up there when we came in there was a bunch of liquor bottles all lined up along the top there so um, and jealousy windows on this side too now here's what I was telling you about with these uh, windows not working I get all the handles off you have to take them off to get the screens out but um See, there's a mechanism here it's supposed to turn and you can see that this mechanism here is damaged now, I don't know if you could replace this whole thing here or you know just try to put a bolt through here or something a screw through here that will turn the rod I don't know but um, each one of them has a different problem you know here's the next one over um, maybe it needs a, a pin through there or something I can try that if you're interested in trying to save these but you know these things uh, you know they're, they're hard to clean they were never cleaned, uh, you know, with the screens on here until we took the screens off and saw what was behind them. I mean, they were really nasty. These have been cleaned, so it's about as, as good as you're going to do, I think. All right, so I want to show you the floor in here because um, this is going to be an issue. I don't know if you want to try to, to do anything with this. Um, again, it's that, uh, like parquet floor or whatever they call it and um, it's just a uh, it's a fake wood you know it's made to look like wood um, so when it gets worn the uh, the top layer of like paper whatever they put on to make it look like wood starts to, um, to peel off so you get uh, the joints I didn't replace the register because I didn't know if you were going to you know use the, the vent system or not that's an easy thing to do anyway, so. But I mean, here's a big one, uh, here's a big joint thing here, so. You know, the wood uh, joints look bad. I, you know, consider maybe putting a uh, carpet over, just leave it here and put carpet over it. Um, would be my suggestion. Yeah, we didn't go crazy with the floor here because we figured it was all going to be ripped up and uh, have to, you know, put new stuff down, so. Okay, so uh, from the kitchen living room area here, you go out through an, an aluminum door. It's an original door that was on the trailer here. Um, 
yeah, it's a little banged up, but uh, it's not too bad. This is what the front door used to look like. And um, you go into this uh, sunroom. Sunroom has uh, windows all the way around it, sliders, uh, vertical sliders, so. Doesn't look too bad. Um, the only thing bad in here is the floor. There's a door at each end. And then on this side is the, um, the actual original uh, trailer metal wall. It's not um, the vinyl siding that was uh, used on the outside if, you know, during that replacement. So that's in the living room. Now the only problem in here is this floor. I don't even know. It looks like it's been painted a couple times or something. Uh, it's got black paint on it now, I think. So, you know, this is where I suggested maybe the indoor-outdoor carpet might work. Um, the paint's peeling. You know, to repaint it, you would have to go scrape all this off. Uh, probably use some um, paint remover or something to try to get it nice and even. Um, here's the other door here. It's got a bit of, bit of a dent in it. See, what do you do with that? I mean... It doesn't look good, but do you replace the whole door or what? I mean, I, you know, I don't know how much money you want to spend on this thing. It's something you got to decide. And, um, let's see. The screen here, this is uh, just tape over the screen, over the um, sunscreen stuff. I'll take that off. It was, uh, they used red duct tape. This door is damaged over here. They use the same thing. I can fix that, I think. I'm just going to take that off and, um, and re-screw it on. So in here, I think the issue is the floor. You know, try to figure out what to do with the floor in here. I don't know if you want to try to paint. Uh, try painting around the base here. Could use a little work, I guess. And that's some kind of uh, aluminum stuff there. And inside, here's the inside of that other air conditioner hole that was in here. Yeah, so, that's about it, I think. Let me see. About this way. And this goes uh, back into the hallway where the bathroom is. There's the bathroom door. That slides. Yeah, to for privacy in the bathroom. Oh, heater. Here's the heater. Let's see if I can get that in there. Get the light right on that. Here's the heater in here. Just the um, the grating on the outside gets rusty down the bottom. Looks like it had a lot of water in it. It's pretty nasty. And I. Sh I think I got some still shots on the inside for you before. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work, but I don't know. For sure. And I guess that's about it. Uh, I think I covered it. Yeah, so, you know, you gotta decide what to do about the paneling. You know, there's like areas here, like they had a mirror hanging here. So now you can see the outline of it. Uh, hopefully, it, uh, you know, it's just faded. It's just from the outside, it's faded around there, you know. You get paneling damage, like, uh, I don't know, they had some duct tape on it there or something. You know, this is the kind of stuff uh, you have to decide whether you want to paint over the paneling or you want to just, I don't know what you want to do with it. Bonnie hasn't cleaned this room yet, so that might clean up a bit, but still got a lot of holes in it, you know. Holes that have to be taken care of. So there was a light fixture on here. Okay, and then there's a closet which doesn't have anything, uh, no doors on it or anything. I guess they had a curtain across there. 
And that screen in there uh, doesn't fit any windows. I don't know where that came from, but I thought about trying to use that frame, but it's not big enough for, uh, for the one I need. So I don't know what to do with that. Okay, sign off. <laughs>